In September 2018, South Sudan's main warring parties all signed a peace deal. However, this deal is incredibly fragile. Absent more engagement, this risks falling apart. It will require significant political engagement, both from the region and from the outside communities. At the moment, instead, we are very concerned as crisis group that the world is sleepwalking into another very fraught peace process that could fall apart. The risk of more violence is, is very high. So the peace deal set out a eight-month timetable um, in which they had to resolve two main issues before forming then a unity government. And those two issues are unifying the national army. And the other one is resolving many local disputes over boundaries um, and how many internal states there are. And these were supposed to be done by May. So since they signed this agreement in September, there's been uh, no real movement basically on either of these two issues. Um, you could say that they're delayed. I think uh, more accurately is that they're stuck. What needs to happen is that the mediators need to come down and, and broker more deals in order to unstick this process. And for various reasons, the mediators who brokered the deal have sort of left the room. It's a regionally led peace process. Uh, it was specifically the Sudanese uh, who largely brokered this deal. Um, and then uh, the regional body, um, EGAD, has taken back the file on it. A major challenge right now is that outside of the region, there's no real leading political actor taking on this mediation process. Uh, historically, as in since the early 2000s, uh, the US de facto led uh, what was called the Troika Alliance, which was the US, the UK, and Norway. Uh, since the Trump administration has come in, there is no longer a U.S. special envoy leading that troika. Meanwhile, uh, no one else has really stepped up into that lead role. And the challenge that that raises is that because uh, EGAD is a regional bloc that includes these different, um, includes Uganda, Sudan, Kenya, Ethiopia, they all have their own interests. Uh, the, the role that the outside diplomats played in the past was helping to mediate the mediators if you will. At the moment that we've signed a peace deal, which for the first time in five years, the two main actors have stopped fighting each other, that's the moment at which we find this diplomatic vacuum uh, in which no one's taking up that role. So we at Crisis Group advise that the, the parties, they need to strike deals uh, on the security arrangements. They also need to strike new deals on boundaries and states. We're also concerned that the parties one of them might choose to unilaterally either form or delay the government without consensus from the rest of the parties. The other recommendation that's really important is that the conflict has kicked off in the area of Ye, which is southwest of Juba. Uh, this is from rebel groups that did not sign the peace deal. It's really important that the region, with the support of the international community, uh, start a new mediation track uh, for this group, uh, which is led by Thomas Cirillo. Also, it's very important from the regional actors that they appoint the chair of what's called JMEC, which is essentially the peace oversight body. There is no one really there to mediate and, and broker these deals. And this goes back to our other recommendation that then also the international community needs to figure out who their, who their lead envoy is. South Sunnis have already been through five years of horrific violence and displacement. It's important the international community, the region, and also the actors themselves seize this opportunity to try to bring peace to South Sudan.